Guitar Shootout, Zager Easy Play, Zad 900 CE versus Taylor. I've heard all the hype on these Zagers. I finally had to try one to really see if they were all that they said they were. I gotta tell you, they really are. This guitar surprised me the most out of any guitar I've played this year. Uh, Playability is unbelievable on it. The uh, I don't know if it has to do with the supposedly they do something with the string spacing on here. The string height's really low, not super low, but it just feels good in your hand. Something to do with the neck. It's got a pretty slim neck design. Um, this one is their is their big dog. The uh, 900. It's got the uh, Sitka spruce. Uh, rosewood back and sides. It's got the really nice that abalone or not abalone. It's got the abalone on it, but it's also got the uh, curly maple hand bent binding on it. Let me see if I can get up close. Uh, Denny and his son make these guitars in Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, family owned and operate, I guess. I called up, ordered this from Dennis Jr. himself. It's got the Grovers on it. Uh, they say if you don't like it, you they'll pick it up, pay shipping both ways. So you got, I felt I had nothing to lose but to try one, and I thought I'd put this head to head with my D28 and uh, my D28 Martin. And I'll tell you right off the bat here, playability, geez, unbelievable playability. Um, I can move faster on this thing. Uh, it just it just feels good. I feel like I, where before I go like a half hour, 45 minutes. I'm going like two hours now and I don't even realize it. Uh, sound wise, boy, they're really close. I can't, I might like the D28 better, but the, but the Martin's an older guitar. It's 10 years old. This one's just fresh out of the box, so they're very close. I don't know, you give this guitar some age and I think it'll be right there. Um, high end case, really high end case. It's got some sort of digital readout here for the looks like the humidity. It's like an ABS, I think. Really amazed. This guitar, uh, 21, God, I think I got 2200 in it. Never bought a guitar sight on seen on play before, but uh, they only operate online. Uh, I went to their website, ordered it the other night, about two nights ago, got it in two days. Um, I guess Denny signs each guitar when he's done with it signs and dates it. I'm just blown away by this. I, I think uh, 2200 is what I have in it. It's also got that Fishman Aura system in it. Supposedly they're the best electronic system in, in acoustics today. Um, I haven't had a chance to try it yet. I guess you can go online and plug this thing in. It's got like a like a USB cable plug in it here Whoops. that you can plug into uh, your computer and download images, thousands of images to make your guitar sound different. You can go online like the Fishman, I guess. Um, haven't got a chance to use that yet, but damn, playability on this thing, awesome. Uh, it does. It plays better than my Martin by far, and I've had my Martin set up actually by one of the top luthiers here in Minnesota. I'm uh, truly amazed by this guitar. Um, honestly, I had plans of sending it back. I thought I'd try it see how it worked. I, I honestly didn't believe the hype on these on on these things. I, I know there's lots of reviews and stuff online and testimonials but they almost sound a little fakey and I thought I'd give it a shot and see really for myself what these guitars were about and I, I'm gonna keep this one. Um, it just bang for the buck. I mean this Fishman lowest price Martin I could find with this Fishman setup on it was about 3500 um, and with the with the woods on this thing, my god, inlay. Let me get up close here. So you can see. Let's get it in the light. Really nice tight fitting case. Uh, damn, just surprised the hell out of me, honestly. I did not expect this type of uh, playability. 
out of the box. The guitar arrived actually in tune, which I, I've never had happen before. I've ordered a few offline. You usually like to go in and try them out first. But uh, I guess that's how they keep their prices low. I don't know exactly, but to me this guitar looks like about a four forty-five hundred dollar guitar. Anything that I can't find, like a friend of mine's got a Taylor Taylor Nine, very comparable. This guitar doesn't have the Fishman in it though. I think he was at forty-five hundred, something like that.